So if you're in high school like me, you'll know that schools are giving a lot of homework because um, of the pandemic and they have to arrange a lot of lessons in a short time. So I was thinking, why not make our lives easier by having a Python program that does the homework for us? So this is going to be a short video on how to make our own bot that does the homework for us. We're going to use image to text using PyTestRec and we're also going to use um, Wolfram Alpha API which I did in my last video where I used it for Cortana's voice assistant activity. And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step instructional guide on how to access the API and how to run PyTestRec. So let's get right into it by starting our um, new project on PyCharm. We're going to go to the top right and go to a new project. I'm going to name this, this test right now. And over, call it random numbers. I'll create it. And now we're going to define a new main file, which is going to be our main code, of course. So that's the first step done. Now let's move on to actually getting um, image to text module, which is PyTest Rec, and, and, and how to set it up. So now our next step is to get the API from Wolfram, Wolfram Alpha. So let's just go to the Wolfram Alpha API. And let's get, you have to click on get started. And as you can see, I'm already signed in. You might have to create your own account, but once you do, you'll see this page. And for this, I already have two projects. One is test and one is for time I'll use test. So it's just a completely random application. I'm going to delete that later. And I have this API ID, which you're going to post in. So let's get that. And we're going to keep that just over here as a comment, just in case we need it later. Now let's move on to actually working on PyTesseract. So in our code, let's first import PyTesseract. And we're going to import it uh, with a specific name. Let's call it Tess. So after this, we are going to also have um, from pill import image. So we get errors now because we haven't downloaded PyTestRec for Pillow, the Pillow module, to our interpreter. So let's first do that. And in case you haven't already downloaded these, you're going to go to your command prompt and you're going to type import PyTestRec. Should start downloading. So as you can see, requirement also satisfied. And you could, I could also um, install Pillow. And the same thing goes for it. So I have it downloaded there. Now let's download it to this to this uh, file. So with our project, we go to the Python interpreter. And now we're going to download PyTesseract. So we're here. And we're also going to download Pillow. So we've done that and the error should go away, which it does. So now with, oh, our last uh, module we need to import is Wolfram Alpha. So same thing again, if you don't have it downloaded to your computer, you're going to have to download it through command prompt so I'm gonna also install it to the interpreter so we have downloaded all the modules now our next step is to actually be able to turn an image into text 
So let's first define a variable called img. And what it's going to do is, using Perl, it's going to open a certain image. And let's just call it test.png. We haven't actually decided the image yet, but it's going to be this and And we're also going to have to define um, the image text. We're going to call it text. And what we're going to do is we're going to do test dot image to string. And it's going to be image to variable. So now that we have this, you can see that we're getting an error. And if we run this, we can see exactly what this error is. So I cannot import image from PIL. Let's solve this error. Oh, the error actually might be here. We have to define it with a capital I. Now let's try running it. We should get no errors, but nothing on there as well. Okay, so this is a different error that we don't have to test, but that's good that we've avoided one of the errors. Now the second thing we have to do is we're actually not done with the image text processing because we need to download the Pi. There's an application which you need to download for Pi Test Rec, which you need to download to your computer and then you need to have that file directory and need to run it from there. So I have a link that I'll post in the description and it's the download for PyTestRef, it's an exe file. And you go here and between these two you choose uh, if you're on 62-bit then you download the 62-bit, if you're on 32-bit then you download the 32-bit. You download this and then after you're actually going to have to get the path of the file. So let me pull that up. So we have our finalized code, it's a buff proof, I've changed name, I've perfected everything. Let's go ahead and run it, I'll show you the question that I have for it. It's, it's this, what is 4 plus 4, it should be able to answer that pretty easily. So let's go ahead and run it and let's see what happens. So you can see the registers and the answer is 8. So there we have it, we have a robot that does your own homework, that's pretty cool to be honest. Anyway. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. I've also um, started a new business um, selling programs for people. So if you're interested in buying a customizable bot for me, something, a website, or even a simple game for Pi Game, you can go to the description below to click the link for my Fiverr account. Have a nice day.